Greetings, my friends, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich, playing as that beautiful United States of America with the correct shade of blue. So, I hope you're having a great day. A couple comments include, Mr. Mocha Lover, you should play Kaiser Redux. I, don't, I usually call it Kaiser Dux, but Kaiser Redux sometime. I will. I played it in my own spare time a few times already, so I do want to add it to the channel eventually, but not yet. There's so many mods out there that I currently need to finish up and get to, and I will play as play Kaiser Redux mod, sub mod, sometime in the future. But anyways, we are poised right now to, well, finish an astronaut focus, but to invade Portugal, or our puppet, Portugal, in Europe, because the Reds took them over. Those god darn Reds, we have got to get rid of them. But we just finished an arsenal of America, which looks really good to help us produce a way more equipment and get more factory, military factory, constructed speed. We can get a longer reach, destroy some efficiency or detection, escort efficiency on the beach. Uh, let's go with this one. Longer reach. If we have to project our power onto the rest of the world, or reese to the world, that's a reese, we must achieve the ability to do so through our naval power. I'm going to wait and give our guys a few more days so that we can have a little bit more organization as we will go to war and invade Porto, Faro, or Porto. Where's Porto? Porto's up there. Coimbra, Lisbon, and destroy the red strongholds that infest Iberia. I also have some tanks over here, but our tanks are really out of commission right now because they have so such a huge deficit of medium tanks. So they kind of they kind of have to take a little bit of a break right now. In the meantime, into our cars. Where are the light tanks? Light tanks. Uh, two is good enough for now. We'll keep it on two. We definitely want to make more medium tanks, but we'll get there eventually. Air Cobra is looking pretty good. Uh, actually, plane wise, how are we doing plane wise? It's always good to double check. We got a couple scout planes. Strategic bombers are always nice. Got a couple fighters as well. Uh, let's get some more fighters in. Because we have the fuel for it, we got the manpower. I love this manpower, man. I'll be honest, duplicate. Uh, that's not good. Go ahead and merge them all together. Uh, that's Lorita 800. I made a mistake here. My bad. Lorita. There you go. 200. Not bad. And then cut in half, but then take you two out. Half it. Oopsie. That's not quite half. But that's okay. Two, three, four, five. Throw them on here on the Marines. Which used to be airborne soldiers, but we figured for now we could use them as marines. Throw them back on there. Throw some more guys right there. That'd be good. Last time we took out Mexico. We finished off Mexico because Russia went to war with Poland and caused a whole World War II and a half. Uh, I'm going to say no. Yeah, they're still killing each other over here, which is great. I love it. Happy 1945, though. That's going to be a great year, especially as we invade. Alright, let's see what we can do. You guys are poised to invade as well. I'm glad I have you in Africa, actually. I'm really glad I have you here. Hopefully, we, Portugal is not too well defended, but we will see what happens, because I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, we could use more stability, though. Uh, extraction? I mean, I guess we do that. Oh, what happened over here? More convoys, maybe? Yep, more convoys. That's fine with me. Come on, let's let's have a good D-Day. N2. Let's, hey, we landed! Just like how we landed the first time. Invading. And we landed again! Can we land three? Three for three! Three for three! Come on. The Barati. That's. Oh my god! That's a huge Afghanistan! What is that? The German government in exile. That is. That is a thick Afghanistan. The biggest I've ever seen. Who are you? Akram Aziz. That's actually really awesome. What? Hold on. Hold up. What nation is this? Kachin? Is that Burma? That might be Burma. No, but Burma's down there. I don't know enough about Southeast Asia, to be honest with you, to really comment on that stuff. All I know, that is a thick, thick as hell Afghanistan. That's the biggest I've ever seen. Af Why are you over there? You just capitulated. Why do you have ships? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't understand the AI, but that's okay. All I do know is that I should enjoy it. But whatever it is, we've landed in Porto. Can I please get a front line? Thank y'all for playing. Time to blitz your butts through this nation. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys can do that. Marines. Just take all of the Marines. If we can invade fast enough, that'd be great. What are we doing down here? Oh, we want to invade Colombia. You guys are kind of hanging out. Oh, we want to invade Venezuela. Oh, because they're all in the Andean Pact. That's right. This is probably a really bad idea. Actually, they have no manpower. Actually, they have no manpower. And you know what? They have actually the most manpower, even though they're the smallest nation. Let's have a good time, though, and see what happens when I make 
or do this. If they have no manpower, we should do fairly okay, right? That's the thought process of me right now, of my thought process. Uh, Ecuador, I'm not really too concerned about that. This I'm a little bit more concerned about. Venezuela breaking into here is going to be a little bit more difficult probably than what I expected. But if we can break through Colombia, I'm not too worried about it. Oh boy. Nice, good stuff. Oh, even though I could actually really, really use this army. You know what, if you're not doing anything, I'm going to shift you around. I love the Silver Legion when they're not trying to overthrow and kill people that oppose us. Uh, I'm going to have you guys actually hold real quick. Like, actually fill out the front line a little bit better and don't get encircled like that. That's actually insane what you guys are doing right now. I could send my tanks in here. Uh, I, but Libya does want to go to war with these... Okay, they lost their war justification. Get to Portugal. You're not full strength, but I don't really care. Oh god, so laggy. Well, it looks like we have had, so far had a successful D-Day. Hope we don't lose our advantage. Uh, please don't get cut off. For the love of God, do not get cut off. For the love of God, why? Please, no, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Now, this should help the Russians out. We can't quite win here yet. That's okay. I'm going to keep trying, though. Really grind down their manpower. We should do okay here as well. Since they don't seem to be that strong. What are you guys doing? You guys right there doing that stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's going on? I still got a fleet around here. Sunk the convoy again. Sunk another convoy. Good. Also, so another comment from yesterday included that, hey, look, we got our tanks up here. I should core everything in the Americas because we want to manifest destiny. Well, I like that idea. I just don't think it's going to work for me personally just because I don't think Canada wants to be an integral part of the United States just yet. I mean, give it time. We can colonize them, but I just don't think that would be really fitting as of yet. Ooh, ah, nice. So we're not going to do that yet. We might not even do that just because... It doesn't make sense in my mind that why we should. I mean, yeah, we want to do it, but, you know, it's okay. I actually took Gibraltar. Very nice. Tanks, you doing okay here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We might be overextending ourselves right now. Oh, come on. They should not be able to sink us. They should not. Where, where are my tanks? Where are my tanks? My ships. Ships, where are you? Well, at least Lisbon's being defended. Hey, we made an encirclement. Nice. Alright, so Russia should be feeling a little bit better about this now. Especially since they probably were helping out... Oh, boy. Afghanistan. Oh, we actually lost something. That's not good. Um, can you guys please keep going? Because we need to get you guys out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have overextended myself just a wee bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Sink the hell out of them. Well, we're seeming to be doing okay, even though... It looks like they got a lot of divisions around here. Oh, crap, we lost a convoy. Well, get up there. Go, 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 go. Who cares about supply? Hey, encirclements! Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Take those guys out as well. I mean, I love it when the enemies fight like a two-front war. I mean, that's, that's always nice, right? It's always nice. We lost another sub, but so be it. So be it. Are we really fighting a lot of Iberian soldiers? Um, honestly, we don't see that many. We see some. I don't think it'd be really... It's kind of worth it to use it right now, but kind of not... Come on, get in there. These guys are pretty tanky. Don't like them tanky. Keep them in place. Good, good. Kill them off. We're doing a lot better than what it looks like. I'm, not, I'm a little surprised we're actually doing that well. God. They took out Bermuda again. Longer reach. Good. On the beaches. Our enemy must fear American soldiers landing on the shores. And to that end, we must work together to ensure that we have the skill and power to take advantage of our longer reach. Very good. We keep losing things. Ship subs. I mean, subs, subs, subs. Naval bombers? Cool. I don't even want to look at the other ones. 100 should be fairly good here ish. Alright, so it looks like we broke over here, which is kind of nice, finally. So I can actually send you away to Spain. Spain, Spain. Spain, Hispania. You guys should be able to take them out. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, so you're done. I'm going to send you to Spain because we're probably going to need it. Honestly, maybe not. Finish these guys off first, then. Finish these guys off first. You guys are over here as well. I could just use one army, but I'm not going to right now. Over here, do we have... Yes, Boulevard. Isn't that a currency? I think that's a currency. All or nothing. Cruiser scheme, nice. Keeps it in their garbage. Their trash. Nice. Good stuff, my friends. Good stuff. Anything over here besides carrier, carrier, carriers? Do we have more ships? Yes, we do. Oh, very good. We lost quite a few subs already. Nice. 
Good stuff, my friends. Good stuff. Convoy was sunk. Oh, how are they sinking my stuff? So, like, who, who's sinking my stuff? These destroyers. Well, those destroyers have to be destroyed, and we got to take out uh, San Juan as well, so... Don't want to forget that. We do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, but it'll take a little sip-sip in a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. I didn't even give you orders. God dang it. No wonder you're not helping out. Uh, deficit of naval bombers. Medium tanks are looking a lot better. That's really good, actually. Nice. Good. Destroy everything they have there. Hey! Okay, they just go up. Okay, yeah! Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? All I had to take out was Columbia. That was much easier than I expected. So at this point, I'm going to throw you over here under Patton. As much as I love Devers, um, I'm going to throw you guys here as well. I, I want two armies to do this down here. Peru is a long boy. Holy cow. Well, better start justifying on these guys. 125 days. Begin. Ah, oh, I love Huey Long. I love him. Yeah, definitely do that, and then do some of this, and then do some of that. There you go. Because that'll help out with Brazil as well. I'll already keep clicking on that. Oh, my words. If I could stop speaking over my own words, that would be great. Sink them. Come on, sink them. Stink them. I should really make more destroyers. I'm losing quite a few convoys. Not ideal. Quite not ideal. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Liberia's gone. Well, good job, Germany, I guess. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh, yeah. Beta Columbia, Venezuela. Nope. Military occupation. Military occupation. They are in the Americas. And I only hurt and lose my stability. That's all. It's only stability. Eh, we can do that, too. We got enough stuff for that. Extraction. Police crackdown. We could do that. Yeah, might as well. Get some more stability. Stability's always nice to have. Keep sinking the garbage. That's great. San Juan. Hmm. How long would it take for us to go to war with them? That's a good question to ask. All right. Give me you guys. We gotta start sinking these bad boys. We've got any close air support here? Not that much. Range probably isn't very good, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Roof cruiser holes, very good. Nice. We're doing really well with not a massive army group here, honestly. We're doing really well. There goes Iberian Federation. Fall of Barcelona. This is actually going a lot easier than I expected. Hey, much easier than I expected. Okay, they died. Okay, then. Um, is it that not... Our own line. I don't know why Portugal took all of it, but you know what? Portugal, you do you, and uh, I'll do you later, because you're my puppet. But anyways, Patton, good luck. Ambusher, guerrilla fighter. Well, I guess it's time to invade France. Sure, actually, before we go on, let's see, they've lost... Oh, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. Wow. 18 bazillion? 1.4. Looking like time go on. It's 45, of course, but Jesus Christ, that's insane. That's insane, man. Italy's lost over 5 million. We still gotta kill the Japanese. I might just fight all the way through Russia to get to, to get over here to Japan. Yeah, I might just do that for funsies. And for funsies, I mean for like real funsies. Come on, move up, move up, take him out, take him out. Uh, doing it like this probably isn't a smart idea, but whatever. I mean, if you want, you can probably beat him up. And just, at least, at the very least, hold him in place. I mean, we're just snaking up through here now. What is going on with France? Air production. They got enough manpower, enough fuel. They got quite a few divisions. Only 100, up to 126, though, which isn't a butt ton. Hmm. All right, let's reorganize the line here so it's a little bit more balanced out. Now, go immediately if you can. We got some military police would come in handy. It is 45. Let's grab some more logistic companies because those are just so useful. It's so incredibly useful. Cavalry. Nice. Get some uh, military police. We should have enough support coming for that. Really put down those guys. Medium tanks. We need to get some modern tanks. Don't want to forget that. Modern tanks are always pretty good to get. 
God, the tanks are just... They're honestly a little bit too effective. Um, I'm going to actually have to stop you guys from moving up. Screw it, I'm moving you over here too then. 13 division supply will probably be bad down here anyway, so we probably can't afford that many guys. Anything I should know? Not really. Anything I should know about this? Not really. Just settle in here first. And then we'll have a great old push, because the infantry just takes forever to move. Advanced rubber processing, very good. Uh, it is 45. Let's grab some more land. Night attack, that'd be good. Keep sinking their stuff. Sink the crud out of the garbage. Or sink the garbage. Whatever works. Still building up a lot of infrastructure, which isn't bad. I can still use a few more military factories. Ah, oh, Missouri, 100%. Ah, oh, Kansas. I love Kansas. Never been to Kansas. Never been through Kansas. But, you know, maybe someday I'll take a trip there. See what happens. Uh, build some right over there while you can still get it. Build some of that. And I think we're done with dockyards probably for now. Okay, another military factory in Tennessee. Maybe they can make a little Tennessee arms workshop there. Hey, Hungarian Socialist Republic is capitulated. Great. Three, two, just go, 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 go. Now, Russia should be able to push in. Yep, they're pushing in a little harder. Looks like Hamburg has already fallen. Hamburg? Hamburg? God, I'm a little... I love tanks. I mean, these 40 combat with tanks, I think they're 40 combat with. They're so good. They're too good, almost. Because they're pushing too fast. And they might get, they might get encircled. I don't have all enough divisions here. Ugh, that sucks. Mm, America's finest. Airborne. I love the airborne, but we don't really need them right now. It uh, looks like these guys can slowly get over here. Okay, I I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I'm pulling you out then. Uh, this is getting too not good for us. You guys do this. And just kind of hold the line. Okay. Oh, come on. You guys, come around here and please kill them off. Quickly. Make it quick. Heck, half of you guys go over there if you can right now. Because these guys are flooding through here. And we got to hold on. I mean, look how they've done such a good job. I don't want to turn them away and tell them you've done too well. But they've done too well. I didn't have enough divisions, man. Here's by four, maybe, but my goodness. Oh, look, a lot of dead enemies. I love it. Uh, you can go right there. That's fine. My gosh, you take forever to get out of that battle. Mustangs, cool. Get some better carrier planes. Now, since it is a 44 one, I might as well upgrade this. Do the best we can. There you go. Good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Keep on ah, the tanks. I love these tanks so much, man. I'm really glad we focused on tanks early on. Because that was such a good idea. Oh, look how weak they are. They're so weak right now. They're, I mean, Russia's a big beast, but... Nice. What's wrong is Russia? We're on the beach. You know, after this war's over, we might just fight Russia. For realsies. Working with their allies, we may now send advisors to countries at war with our enemies. Cool. American expertise must be put at the disposal of our allies, or at the very least, the enemies of our enemies. If they fight better, then uh, together we can stand a chance of victory, which. I don't know, man. I think we're doing pretty darn well. Joint training? Extraction campaign? Uh, actually, can I put Portugal back in control? Because they already have all their mainland holdings. Um, hmm. Donations? I mean, legitimacy is already pretty high if you look at collaboration governments. Yeah, it's already pretty darn high up here. Uh, when they're capitulated by reinstating the government? Occupying Portuguese soil. I don't know, man. I mean, sure, maybe they own, like, islands, but that's a lot of core territory of Portugal. Like, that's just just me saying that, but, you know, still. Okay, so with this peace deal, probably going to give all of normal Germany to Russia or Prussia. We'll probably give them a lot of the Balkans that can be given to the Balkans or given to Russia. We'll probably get Austria. Other than that, I'm thinking control of France, man. And the UK. Well, well what would be the UK, but the UK... Oh, the UK. Oh, look. No. Japan? What are you doing over here? You know what? Stay over here. Please stay in place. Don't move. Uh, the bigger the number of losses, the greater it looks for us. Uh, that's only one, but it's actually more than one because the game is a little glitched, I guess. And that's okay. Do we have any other upgrades? 
These, these guys are doing great. I love my navy. I love them. I love my navy. I love my tanks. I love my soldiers so much. Ah, oh, just warms my heart. My God, look at they're tearing the butts off these people. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I don't think Patton really should be leading this group. Give him Ridgeway. There we go. That's, this is a little better. This makes a little bit more sense now. Ridgeway, what do you got? Uh, nothing really. Uh, expert delegator, but we don't really need that, I think. Reinforce rate? Eh, doing that one. Because why not? Just, they just flood. They just flood. I love this. It's like Red Flood. We're invading France. But it's just flooding. Just, ugh, so good. So good. I didn't, actually, honestly, I did not expect us to get this far into French and Italian territory. So, it looks like we're going to have to really try to invade the Union of Britain. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually very, very surprised that we've done so well already. Holy crudderinos. I mean, this is great. I don't want to waste time just, you know, trying to kill off enemies, but... This is awesome. This is really, really good. Uh, are we suffering any attrition down here? No, it looks like you might not need too many more supplies, so I'm not going to give you soldiers. I'm going to put them under Simpson for now. I think that'd be good. Just... Jesus Christ, this is awesome. I'll give some anti-tank rifle fits caliber models. That's good stuff. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put them under convoys because... You never know if we might lose them if we li once we liberate France from the clutches of evil. And by evil, I mean syndicalists. Or, I think they're syndicalists, so. Military factories, let's just go and put some on. Oh, we're actually doing pretty well in those groups. Um, we can put a thing of them on, and then we can eh, put a thing of them on, because we can. And then, uh, hmm... We're going, to need, we're going to need a lot of naval bombers. We're going to need a butt-ton of naval bombers. I'll tell you what. Against Japan. I, they've had all game to build up a massive navy. Uh, all game. Actually, do we have a... Oh, yeah. We should have been using this earlier. I totally forgot about that. We have that one, too. I didn't use that, though. I didn't use that on purpose. I mean, our losses... They're not that bad. I mean, a million. But they're pretty actually evenly spread out between France, Mexico. Paris is completely surrounded... Oh, this feels good. Let's see their tanks moving up north. I'm kind of forgetting about Italy right now, but I'll send my tanks down there next. Please take them. Please take Paris. Please take Paris. Actually, all the French soldiers should be almost losing all supply because they have no support. That's okay. The fall of Paris. Our victory over the Commune of France is now all but assured. And they're gone. They are gone, gone, gone. Actually, you know what? Let's screw Italy. We'll get Italy under us probably anyways. Take as much of Germany as you can, so we have good standing at the negotiation table later on. This has been ridiculously easy. Like, I'm very surprised it's this easy at this point. Then again, I'm sure France like was grinding up against the Germans before the Germans capitulated. Grinding up against... Oh, hello. Uh, the Russians, so... Because the Russians started losing some serious manpower here, but... But they lost mostly against the syndicalist Indians and the Italians. Not even France. They're in third place. Jesus... That's awesome. The future of warfare. After a long reshuffling of the former U.S. departments, the American Union State has uncovered old classified weapons proposals. The two proposals that cut the most interest are the ones authored by Goddard and Bush. Oh. Each proposing an expensive weapon project to deter invasions. Fortunately, both men were recovered from their respective hiding places and persuaded into updating their proposals. Goddard's plan is for a liquid rocket fuel fuel rocket to deliver stable explosive payloads across long distances. Bush's is a theoretical utilization of nuclear fission to create a bomb based on experiments done in Europe. I'm sorry, Bush's bomb? Is this 2003? But anyways, uh, let's go with that. I don't think they're related, but maybe they are. I have no idea. I don't know the like, the lineage of the Bush family, but hmm. Any, anytime I see Bush, I'm like, hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Man, you know what? We will, I, go, I was going to send the tanks to the Netherlands, but apparently that's not going to happen. The, even Russia, they're doing, Prussia through, and Russia are doing pretty okay in northern Germany, but even down in Czechia, that's, that's not going great. Like, yeah, we're definitely going to get all of Italy, all of France, all of the... Uh, Benelux, Benelux, I couldn't think of the name there. There goes the South German Union. Alright, so we're going to divide Germany into two-thirds. I'll probably get a third of it, and Germany gets, and R Prussia gets the rest. Unless we want to institute, institute the German Empire, which gives me a thought. Hmm. Gives me some very peculiar thoughts, we'll say, at the very least. I wrote Commune our legacy in France. Our efforts to convince the French people must that the Communist government is and has always been a legitimate construction as well as their true oppressor. If their will to fight on behalf of the syndicalist collapses, there will be little opposition to our occupation. 
Sure, why not? Uh, we could extract more Portuguese folks, but... Uh, I mean, I, mean I, I don't know. That's that's a little slightly bigger Portugal than what I remember historically, but that's just me. Maybe maybe my history is off. Yeah. There goes Italy. <sighs> Warms my heart seeing the death of our enemies. God. Um, maybe push in here is... Um, I want to push into there, but really, we need to get, finish these guys off quickly. Finish these guys off first. You guys have done a tremendous job. America would be... Ex would be and is extremely proud of you, so... Just push up if you can. Do your best, see what you can do. Just keep making more... Uh, okay, yeah, those are really good ships to make, but we're going to actually get them up. There you go. Uh, those are updated. I'm not really going to worry about this yet, but... We'll get there soon. All I want to do is unite the lines, so we can have one big old front line. That'd be great. Go ahead. Thanks, you've done a gr tremendous job. An absolutely tremendous job. It's time to finish this, though. And prepare the invasion of the Union of Britain. That fleet, honestly, isn't looking very good. And that's a great thing. They're out of fuel. So they should not be able to put up any sort of air resistance against us. Go, go, go. Nuclear power in New Mexico. Hurdle after hurdle stood in between the American Union state and atomic weaponry. It began with the dearth of willing physicists and nuclear experts, including Robert Oppenheimer, who was yet to be located. Several other potential candidates signed a humanist declaration of pacifism abroad, declaring their opposition to our program. Therefore, Bush has had to resort to industrial technicians, which extended the timeline. Finally, after much testing and assistance from George... Kistiakowski, the first atomic bomb is tested due to the extensive safety precautions taken. The vital test yielded an impressive blast, but poor documentation. And we wear the atomic crown. Or we wear the crown atomic. But no man, every man's a king, but no one wears a crown. I thought that was our slogan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wrong crown. I hope. I really hope. Yeah, um, it's going to turn into one weird cold war. It's going to be a really weird cold war. Russia and Germany, like, no, Russian, Russia and the United States in a Cold War scenario, even though the United States is still going to be fighting Japan. So be it, the American century. The greatest ideological struggle for world peace has established the illicit power of the American industry and economy. America is essential to a victory over tyranny and syndicalism and will be essential in preserving world peace, should we, of course, succeed. Yes, please. If America don't succeed, no one going to succeed. This is beautiful. All right. At this point... I want to say that the tanks can probably take the rest of these people out, which is probably true. So we got to pre start preparing for a naval invasion. Go and do that. You guys come around here. Do that. And I just let everyone go as soon as possible. You guys come down there and do that too. And invade. And then Marines. Well, got just enough of you guys to do this. From Cherbourg. Hopefully we can get to Dover. I'll probably have to use my tanks to naval invade as well, so... It is what it is. Fix the Portsmouth. As long as I got no planes, that's great. Carrier Fighter 3 is good. Some better naval bombers. Uh, we could try to upgrade these a little bit as well. That's fine with me. Uh, better engine. We get one of each. Uh, yeah. We actually sort of. That's okay, though. There we go. Not bad. Really not bad at all. So we've got to wait for that last cruiser to be made. Oh, it's going to take 73 days. That sucks. All right, so since we're looking at the ships... Ah, look! An advanced carrier hole. Great! Come over here. You three, come over here. Screen-wise, I can't steal anything from there. Uh, give me you... That's it. Share the wealth. There we go. Share the wealth just a little bit. Everyone do that. And... All right, so here's what we got to do. We got to blockade the entire entirety of this group. Complete, absolute naval blockade. Hoping we can go to war with South America very soon. I'm kind of hoping we do. Get over here! Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly! Tanks will do a great job regardless without us. Sip on some coffee. How are we already halfway or half an hour into this video? How we haven't got. Slovenia, what are the Russians doing? Are they this weak? Why is everyone so weak? How is it? How am I, in 1945, the strongest, like, group here at the current moment, even though we just literally had a civil war within the past seven years? How? How? Prussia's looking nice and thick, though. I like that Prussia. Maybe a little bit too much Polish in my Prussia, but that's okay. And then again, someone's like, nonsense. We still gotta take out these guys. 
please. Peru, please. It's not even a been 125 days yet. How? Oh, yeah. Maybe we should put some planes in here, too. If we have any. Which we should have some. Bombers, close air support. You know, I will use close air support as well. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this trash in here. Oh, we, we really don't have any planes. Holy crud. Well, fighters, go ahead. Medium tanks, you can lower that by 10 then. So we can get some more on the fighters. Because medium tanks looking great, even though they're pretty much updated at this point. Good, you guys finish off the Hungarians. You know what? I guess we'll take Slovenia then. Since they didn't get it. Uh, can we reform Austria-Hungary? Alright, thanks. You've done a great job. Uh, if we can take Vienna, I will not give the Russians Austria. They don't deserve it. Yeah, sure, they struggled a lot, but just because you struggle a lot doesn't mean you deserve anything. Sometimes it does, but not always. A few hospitals, let's get some uh, better recon. That'll be good for everyone that uses it. And coming like see good. Ah, finally, thank goodness. Oh, look at all this stuff. We will go to war with the Empire of Brazil, even though they did help us out. Which is kind of a dick move, but whatever. Oh, we're fighting you already. Um, we're fighting you already. Argentina. Oh, Argentina's a puppet. Oh, we're fighting you already too. Oh, oh, we're fighting a lot of people already. Huh. Should really pay attention a little more. Okay, we We got him! We got him! Great job, guys! Great job. Just kill the rest of these guys off, please. For the love of God, please just kill them off. Please. Your country begs you. That's a lot of guys. Not gonna lie, that's a lot of dudes over there. Alright. How is the radar over here? It is not good enough, to be honest with you. Not good enough. Get some more military factories going. Pennsylvania. How about uh, Canada? Oklahoma? Ah, oh, the Dakotas. God, I need it. I need it. Hmm. Oh, man, that'd be one of the locations I'd like to live in someday. The Dakota's really nice. Oh, they're shooting us down a little bit, huh? I see. I see what they're trying to do. It ain't gonna work, since you're not gonna get any fuel unless you have refineries, but they shouldn't have that many. Ah, oh, gotta love that copy. Yep, they're out of fuel. They got 4 million manpower. I'm sure they're death stacking, so we get, we're definitely gonna have to use our guys to do that. You know what? This is probably a great sin. But, you know what? If Europe is going to be on fire, we might as well take all of Europe out. Task Force gone. Great. It's fine. Good job, guys. You did a great job. A truly great job. Come from Cherbourg. Oh, Cherbourg, please. Okay, then. Dunkirk. We're going to surround over. A tried and true method... That sometimes works. 80% of the time, it works 20% of the time. I swear it does. You take that too, that'd be great. It looks like we got more than one, more than 10 possible for the naval invasion capacity, which is good. Rotterdam. We're going straight for all the ports here if we can. I'm not going to invade other than the Dover, other areas like that. Uh, that's probably pretty much as far as we can go. We can come from here, that'd be great. Invade. Portsmouth as well if we can. If not, you know, whatever. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Alright, good. More propaganda against Peru. I'm really not too worried about the Peruvians. I mean, they look cool and all, but... Really not too worried about it. I'm worried about the supply. That's probably my biggest thing here. Radar looking pretty pretty nice. I was gonna say looking pretty thick, but... Maybe they are. Thick Peruvians. Alright, let's see. Tank destroyers, we don't need to see that. Medium tanks looking great. Carrier fighters, good. Regular fighters. Too much garbage around here. I don't want to see all this tra trash. Keep thinking whatever they got. No fuel for them. Oh my goodness, stop giving me trash. Carry close air support. Don't believe in that. Close air support. I sort of believe in close air support, but we don't believe in trash. I could upgrade them, but it just takes too long for the game to do all this. And I'd just rather not get bogged down by seeing all these potential planes. That'd be so not bueno. CVs, that's looking good. Uh, scout planes, I don't care for scout planes. I never use them. I mean, they have it's kind of a use, but I don't really care about them too much, honestly. Oh, nice. Good, good enough. 
Uh, they probably really want to shoot us down. Yeah, they probably really, really do. And I don't like that. That's okay, though. Cool. Are we ready to evade? God, we have one invasion. Can we try it again? Uh, what are you guys doing? Hmm. Yugoslavia. I might take out the Belgrade pack before I go to war with Russia. You know, let me know. Should I go to war with Russia? I, I kind of really want to in this campaign so I can get all the way to Japan because I don't want to island hop. That's kind of boring. I prefer invading Japan from Korea. But let me know. Should I invade through Russia? Let me know in the comments below. I could invade Corsica, but that's kind of boring. I don't want to do that either. Uh, I'll put all of you guys over here. You guys are poised to go. You guys are looking, looking nice over here as well. I mean, what, we're just doing great. I'm not really sure what else to say, except that we're doing great, because we are. So, uh, get more screens over here, that'd be good. Yes, please, thank you. I doubt we have any more upgrades. And before we invade, where's our air bases? Wait, I'm looking at the naval screen, no wonder we can't see air bases. Air bases. 800 isn't bad, they got no planes. So even interwar bombers should do fairly well. Because you don't have duplicate, boom, 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 which is a great tune. Uh, yeah, just keep them on like that for now. Anything else that we should have? Plus air support, yes, please. There you go. And I'm going to throw you over there too. That range is not great, but it'll work. It'll work. Ah, the American century. We just got 200 more political power, and we have to invade Ireland too. That sucks. But that shouldn't be too terrible. Cool, that, that's done. Naval Aviation next. Naval Aviation is the future of warfare on the high seas. We should ensure that our de air designs are capable of being launched from carriers and destroying the enemy fleet without even endangering our own. Which sounds like a really smart thing to do. We've got anti-tank rifles. Great. I love them huge. Alright, are we ready? Actually, let's take a look at Peru first. Look at that political power. That is so nice. Anything here we could do? The Russian threat... Work with Russian allies. Oh, it's just because of the, our war plans. German allies. Well, we uh, do have plans for Germany. Hmm. Close economy. Eh, we kind of wait. How long would it take for us to go to war with Germany? That's a little bit too soon for my liking, to be honest with you. Uh, we're still moving down, so I'm not really too worried about that at all. Uh, Airbase-wise, maybe use another airbase there. And maybe build up some more cities in Georgia? Why not? Alright, let's, let's go ahead and try this. Alright. Every man a king, but no one will, will wear a crown. We're gonna go for Republican UK. Maybe. Oh god, this is not looking good. Alright, we've invaded. Take the motorized go down there. Let the armor help out here, and you can help support the attack. Alright, we've cut him off. We might just get Dover, at the very least. You know what? We're gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. For that English biscuit, if anything, Portsmouth is going to endure the same fate. Exactly the same fate. We want Southern England completely under us. We've landed. We've landed, my friends. We have done well. <laughs> Help beat him back up. Don't you dare attack me, you pieces of garbage. Help attack Portsmouth. Yes, we can't win everywhere, but that's okay. The American invasion of England, at least Sussex, has begun. And is looking to be very, very successful, too. Yeah, you try to hit me, huh? There we go, my friends. Some of our friends did not make it. But we shall not let their legacy die. Very well, yeah. Get all the tanks in their respective places first. Uh, I could send a lot of guys up here, but that's not good. I'm glad we got these two areas. Oh, level 10 port? I uh, don't mind if I do. Level 6 port? Make it better. Oh, we actually got another tank. Great. You dare... Oh, my goodness. They're going to attack us like a bunch of monkeys. Woo! That's not enough dead. That's not enough dead. They have a lot of factories on this stupid little island. Wow. How do you fit 420 factories on here? How do you do that? Yeah, it's not a stupid little island. It's actually a really co cool island, but, you know, whatever. A lot of history in this island. I didn't try to insult anyone with my comments saying this is a stupid little island. I like these islands. They're not stupid. I swear to God, don't downvote this video. Please. Please. Eh. Whatever. Uh, UK, I'd like to go there someday. I'd like to visit Dune's house if, if he lives up here. Actually, he does live up there. He's Scottish. Don't know that much about English history, though. Cool.
All right, so we're gonna get all our guys over here if we can. Definitely gonna need more supplies, but that's okay. Uh, we have these guys over here. I'm gonna go ahead and put you all under one dude called this guy. You guys look okay without me, so you do that too. Uh, do we have all of our soldiers up here? Not really. They're probably like, oh, too much supply. Too many problems. Go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. Nice. Very good, actually. Level 3, huh? I prefer 4. And we got enough naval XP, too, which is nice. I put fire if level 4. Level 2 is all we can do. I'm going to grab even more anti-air, which looks pretty garbage compared to everything else, but that's okay. Level 4 battery. Wait, no, no. That's what it is. There we go. Uh, fire control. Zero. That's good. Set of sonar. Get some radar. Cruiser engines. Good. And the best armor. This is... This will be great for the Japanese. I guess the Japanese fleet, so. One. Uh, two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. I get time going just a little bit more. Good, good, good. Oh, we got some research to do as well, I see. Goodbye, convoys. Any more convoys? Goodbye, convoys. Very nice. Alright, we can do some of this stuff. Get some better marines, because we can. Why did I pause it again? I don't know, Mr. Mocha Lover. What are you doing? I'm not really sure. We'll figure out what we're doing soon enough, though. Alright, so we have most of our guys up here. Not yet, but... Supplies are going to actually become very bad, but we're going to try a general attack. That's probably not going to happen or do very well for us. That's okay. Come on, get in there. Get in there. 40 combo with divisions all in here. That's probably not a great idea, like I said, but whatever. We'll try it. Get those guys on the line. Get them some more organization. Come on. And we'll attack in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Let's try it. Do we have breakthrough? Not yet. Well... We're going. We're still trying to figure out how to decode their ciphers, but Jesus Christ. I love these tanks. I love them. Oh, I turned into Mickey Mouse there. Um, increased military spending is fine. Share the wealth. Minutemen, national political machine, head of intelligence. Waylin air reform, which is pretty good. Uh, gotta lose bus. Patton's army reforms. Armor speed plus 50%. 10% more division attack, period. But we actually get... Oh, minus 10% heart attack, minus 10% armor on our armor, but our armor attack and defense is plus 15. So, oh, yes, Mr. Krabs. If you guys could, like, attack right there, that'd be a real swell. You could cut off London from everyone else, and that would prove extremely exceptional for us. Just exceptional work. Uh, expand dockyards? We might as well. Our dockyards are somewhat inadequate to fight a war on their own. We need to ensure that the new naval production facilities are constructed to support the war effort. Oh, and Peru's gone. I love you, Peru. I love you. Honestly, with the way this war's going, I'm gonna go ahead and just find Germany then. They didn't do anything bad to us, but they still exist, so... Automatically, we gotta take out every, every person, every monarch. Because every man's a king. And no one's going to wear a crown, except for the, the atomic people. Them scientists. Alright, naval bombers? Naval bomber threes? Yes, please. Not bad, pretty good. A1? Steak sauce? No, cool. Right there. And um, we cut off London, that is disgusting. And London's fallen, this is the beginning of the end. We lost a couple planes, but you know what? Whatever. It's worth it. It's totally worth it right now. Please tell me this is the last nation we take out for these guys. Oh, it might be. And then after this, probably Russia, actually. Well, Germany. And then Russia. And stuff like that. Cool. If we if we do go to war with them. Uh, Chile. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, good luck getting down there. You know, good luck. We certainly killed them off, but good luck. Modern carriers. Huh? Level 3, level 3. Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe another one here. Why not? Mmm, Dreadnoughts. Not really ideal to use them, but hey, you know, we can use them. Might as well, right? Get some more anti-air. I'm not, I don't even bother checking all this other stuff out. Maybe except for radar. That's good. There you go. Uh, you are outdated naval bomber. Th oh, you're just naval bomber. Oh, you are the extra naval bombers. Oh my god, we made so many naval bombers. Carriers... Advanced cruiser hull, you're done. Uh, just scrap you for now, it's fine. 
You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. If that's the case, make another two of these. Dreadnoughts, even though, like, Dreadnoughts, you don't think that they'll be really good. Because they're old. They're actually still pretty god darn decent if you have enough, good enough screens. Because their attack is just too good. It's just too good, man. So even, like, Dreadnoughts from 1910 can still do pretty well if you got enough screens on them. Do we have any? No, this game's just a little laggy. You anything here? The Fader, uh, Fader Peru, Military Occupation. Communard Legacy? Nope. Mm hmm. Looking uh, pretty darn decent. Resource wise, we could use actually a little bit more rubber. Surprising. Hmm. No, not really surprising. Good, good. <sighs> Love it. Government investments into the states. Alright, cool. So I'm going to end the episode here and deal with this off screen. But hope so. hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will invade. Maybe Germany, and maybe Russia. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great rest of your day.